Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And this is something that every on-location photographer should have, a pop-up tent. Now, the one that I'm particularly using is the pop-up pod made by Giga Tent. It sells on Amazon for only 30 US dollars. And this thing is awesome because you could fold it up and it fits in a little bag that's pretty much the size of a reflector. And you can take this pretty much anywhere you go. Now, if you're shooting with models, they don't have to worry about finding a place to change. I've been on location many times and there are no bathrooms around and we're going from one outfit to another. And you know, most people don't wanna just change, get butt naked in front of people. So you wanna have them covered up. This tent is awesome because it's also covered on top. There's a zipper right here. And then when it's closed, you really can't see through it. And the person inside also has zipper access as well. So they can open it and close it from the inside as well. Every corner on the bottom and about four feet high has a tie down loop. The ones that are about four feet high are perfect for tying the included ropes. And the ones on the bottom are perfect for using the stakes that go into the ground that are also included. If you want to keep the door open, just roll it up and then use these to tie it. So that way it stays up. So now I'm going to show you guys how to open it. And then after that, I'll show you how to put it away. So open up your bag, take it out. Just kind of let it unfold itself. Go ahead and stand that up. And then you're going to want to open it. And then you're going to pull each corner that's opposite from each other. And you're going to kind of just honestly just do that. You kind of just got to mess with it a little bit till it pops open. And then you're good to go. Put your stakes down, tie it down if you need to, depending on how windy your location is. And you're ready to change. All right. So right now it's fully open. And what I normally do is I put the logo on my right side and then I put another side on my left. And then I fold in the two back sides to be flat with these two panels. So this one will go in. And now you have the pop-up side with the logo and then this side, and then that gets folded in half. So now that you have it flat, you're gonna lay it down with the logo facing up. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take the bottom and you're gonna fold the bottom up to the top to make a U and hold it like this. Now, a very important thing to know is that if you grab from the corner, either corner on the bottom and you start to fold, the sides are gonna start to bend in. That's something you don't want. So you wanna make sure you grab in the middle of the bottom to where it comes up without much bend. So now you have a U with very little bend on each of the sides. Now, this is the side that faces my body. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna place this side that's further from your body slightly down and the side here that's closer to your body, you're gonna overlay it and slightly pass this side. So not here, pass it slightly. Then when it's passed, grab the left side, push it down and then the right side, push it over. And then now it folds into a circle. So you might have to tidy it up a little bit where you kind of twist it a little bit just to make it a smaller footprint. Then, once you have it smaller, you can go ahead and just put it in your bag. Zip it up. Now, when you're zipping it up, be careful because sometimes the zipper can get caught on the actual tent. And if you pull too hard, you might rip your tent. So you don't want that. So make sure you slowly move the zipper. And there you go. That's how simple it is. It might take a few tries to get it, but once you get it down, it's really simple and you can do it in less than 30 seconds. Now, one thing that I have noticed with the pop-up pod tent is that the fabric is actually very thin and very susceptible to getting torn pretty quickly. Just by doing this video here and moving it around a lot on the concrete floor, it's already started getting very slight tears. Now, I don't know if that's gonna translate to the entire thing ripping off the frame, but if it has a few tears, personally, I don't really care that much, but I'm pretty sure that there are some that are more expensive that are maybe made of more durable fabric but I don't use this that often on concrete. But if you're using this on sand or dirt or grass, then it's probably gonna last a lot longer. So there you guys have it. That's something that I think every on-location photographer should have. It's a pop-up tent. And this one here is the pop-up pod made by Giga Tent. I have a link in the description where you can purchase it from Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.